Now within my unordered list, I want to control my various list items. So I'll just simply click on any one list item, make sure that's active, and I'm going to create a new rule for that. Main menu, list item. And for these, I'm going to go ahead and go to my box category, and I'm going to put in 200 width for those. This time I will put in a height of 32 pixels. And for now, I'm also going to go ahead and put in a solid one pixel thick blue border. That way we have a visual of where things are. Now notice I've got this big amount of space here. That's something I'm going to want to remedy. I'm going to take a second to create a new CSS rule and I'm going to just cr simply create a reset. Um, really doesn't tr truly matter what I'm doing here uh, for the type of selector. I can simply choose tag but my selector is going to be an asterisk. And then I'll click OK and I'll go to the box category. Padding all around will be zero. Margin all around will be zero. I'll click OK and I'm going to take this rule and just move it to the top of the list. I like to start all of my CSS style sheets with this reset rule so to speak and that actually took care of some issues for me. Alright, things are looking pretty well and I'm just going to knock this image down a little bit so it's not crowding my menu. So things are looking nice. Um, I've got my main menu with its list items. Now something I would actually like to see some hyperlinks in here so I'll, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a, a moment and I'm going to make each of these a hyperlink, just a generic link. I'll probably link to Google or something like that. So I'll double click and uh, for the link area I'll simply google.com and I'll repeat that process for these others. Okay, now I have a collection of hyperlinks. There we go. So now that I have anchors or hyperlinks inside of each of my list items, I could click on any one of these and now I can format all of my anchor tags. I'm going to go ahead and create a new rule, new CSS rule. Anchors within my list item, within my main menu. Very good, that's a compound. And I'll click OK. And now I'm going to put in some information about this. Now, anchor elements are inline elements, and for what we want to do here, we want them to be block. So, let's go ahead and make some changes here. Uh, all of my hyperlinks in the type for the type category, I want there not to be any underlines. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that for now. And while I'm here, I think I'll go ahead and change the font. And for font weight, I think I'll even make them bold. For background, yes, we do want backgrounds on these. This is an important step here. So the background image I want to use for my anchor tags is going to be my menu. So there's my menu. And background repeat, I'm going to say no repeat. Technically not necessary to do this part because my anchors are only going to be big enough to show or display half of my menu, um, but I'll just say no repeat anyway. Uh, background position X and Y, that's um, okay for now. We'll, we'll get to this soon enough. Now I'm going to go to the block category, and let's see, I'm going to do display block. I want my anchor elements to display as block elements. And I'm going to give these anchor elements 200 pixels width and 32 pixel height. So basically I want the anchor tag to be as big as this rectangular shaped list item. This will allow us to click on any part of the button. We won't have to just click on the text for the link to work. So that's pretty good. I'm not even going to put a border in for visual effect. And uh, let's go ahead and leave it at this for now. So I'm going to click OK. And now I can see my text in there. There's no, um, no underline for it. And I can certainly see my blue colored uh, background image. Okay, and I do want to show you that in live view, 
these become hyperlinks. Watch my pointer. As soon as I cross into the button area, I get my hyperlink. So I don't just have to mouse over the text now. This is because my anchor is block and my anchor is 200 pixels wide and 32 pixels tall. So my anchor is now a big rectangle, not just the text. So let me just go turn off live view for a moment. So, so far so good. Um, I'm just going to simply add another property to my anchor tags. I'm going to go ahead and put in color and I'll just put in the hex code for white. There we go. So now my hyperlinks are white. So anchor tags now have these particular characteristics. Now I'm going to make another little change here. I'm going to do another add property still for my anchor tags and I'm going to put in padding left and I'm going to look at about 30 pixels. Just wanted to kind of push that text out a little bit. Let's see, what if I try 40 pixels? Okay, so I'm getting some padding in there. It's still pushing out just a little bit. We'll deal with that later on though. And let me go ahead and add another property. I'm going to put in line height of 32 pixels. Here, let me take care of that. By doing a line height of 32 pixels, which is the height of my visible space, it gives me a nice vertical, a vertical centering appearance. Okay, there we go for that. Okay, now I think I'll jump over here and I'll adjust my width from 200 down to 160. So 160 plus my 40 pixels of padding should get my button sized appropriately. Let me jump over to live view and yep things are looking okay now that I'm getting my overall shape I think I'm also going to take a moment to get rid of some borders so I'll jump back to my list item I have that border property right there I'll just go ahead and trash that one and for my main menu which also has a border red border I'll trash that the borders were just there temporarily so I could get an overall look of the way the structure is going to work out so I'm almost done I've got my navigation menu. in fact it's actually working at this point if you didn't want to have the hover effect there you go you've got your menu it's an unordered list but it certainly looks a lot more polished but now I want to have that hover effect so in addition to controlling generic hyperlinks within the list item within the main menu we need to control the hover version of this so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new rule and I'm going to go ahead and choose compound and I didn't do any good selecting first so I'll type it in manually um, let's see I want to do this main menu list item a colon hover so the hover version of hyperlinks within my list items within my main menu are going to have the following effect I'll simply click OK for this and now I can put in some information the hover effect is going to really be dependent upon the background. So for background image, I'm going to go ahead and repeat and put in my menu 9 background image. But background position is critical. I don't want my background position x-axis or the horizontal to shift at all. But notice here, my image is blue, the lower part is orange. I want to shift my image up within its little rectangle. Remember one little rectangle is 32 pixels tall. So if the blue is exposed I need to shift this background image upward in order to expose the orange part. I'm going to shift it upward on the y-axis negative 32 pixels and I don't want it to change at all for my x-axis so I'll simply put 0 pixels there and I'll click OK. It should be enough to test. Let me jump over to live view and there's the effect. So there's my navigation menu which is simply code view, an unordered list formatted with styles to look like a more image intensive navigation menu.